In this video, you will learn five tips that will make you immediately more attractive. That's right, five simple changes that anyone can make and become more attractive. And it's all based on psychological science. Don't go anywhere, because we're starting right now. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello and I'm a psychologist and a relationship coach. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love. So if you want to make your love life the best part of your life, start now by clicking the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you aren't missing anything. Okay, on to becoming more attractive. Wait, I know what you're thinking. How can a person become instantly more attractive to everyone and anyone? I mean, we all have different preferences of what we find physically attractive, right? Yes, that's true. But remember, attractiveness is something much deeper than appearance. It's much more than bone structure and skin tone or the shape of your body. Attractiveness is a quality of a person that transcends the physical. It's the magnetic chemistry that's given off by your attitude, your personality, and your energy. You know how there are some people that you are very attracted to, but you're not completely sure why? It's like you feel intense chemistry. Well, that's attraction. And the five tips that I'm going to share will help to kick that chemistry up a few notches, making you more attractive. Oh, and this is not something that I made up, and it's not a trick. It's all based on sound psychological science that I'll also share. Let me explain. See, these are five tips that will increase your level of attraction by first increasing your level of subjective well-being. And subjective well-being is a psychological term that describes the way that you experience the quality of your life, the way you think about yourself and your level of happiness and your level of life satisfaction. Without getting in too deep, a person who scores high on measures of subjective well-being is a person who has a high level of satisfaction with their life, experiences greater positive moods such as optimism and happiness and confidence while also experiencing little or less negative moods such as anger and anxiety and fear. So how does this relate to attractiveness? Well, as it turns out, people with high levels of subjective well-being are perceived by others as more attractive too. So when you implement these five simple steps, you will increase your level of subjective well-being and when that happens, you become much more attractive to everyone. It's like becoming magnetized. Now, I know it sounds too good to be true, so let me offer you some evidence and examples, and then I'll jump right into the things that you can do today to increase your level of subjective well-being. So make sure you keep watching so that you can begin to implement these things right away. As I mentioned earlier, one component of subjective well-being is happiness. And as I've talked about in other videos, becoming happier makes anyone profoundly more attractive. I'm not going to cite the many studies that show how happiness is related to attraction because that would bore too many people. But simply put, your level of attractiveness is directly related to your expressions of joy and happiness. And it's really powerful. In fact, a happy facial expression can even compensate for relative unattractiveness. What that means is that people who are relatively unattractive become attractive when they express genuine joy and happiness. But don't take my word for it, search it up. Do a Google search on happiness and attraction and facial expressions and attraction or smiling and attraction and you can read up on it. I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you more attracted to happy people or have you found that you are approached more when you're feeling happy and on top of the world? Leave a comment below and let's start a discussion. The second component of subjective well-being is life satisfaction and optimism. And think about this, some of the most common advice given to singles looking to attract a partner is to just be confident. Common wisdom suggests that confidence is highly attractive to potential partners and research has confirmed that men and women rate confidence as a very attractive trait in a potential partner. But why is confidence so attractive? Well, one reason is that a lot of the things we want in a partner are difficult to observe directly, especially on the first meeting. This includes traits like competence and ambition and social status and kindness. And because we trust that people know themselves well, we assume that their confidence or lack of confidence reflects their actual value as a partner. So if you increase your level of confidence and optimism, your life satisfaction will also go up and you are universally more attractive as a result. And lastly, negative affect or negative emotions such as anger and fear and sadness and pessimism are negatively correlated to attractiveness. In other words, people who express these emotions are viewed as less attractive than people who express neutral emotions. And as I mentioned earlier, a lack of negative emotions is one of the three components of subjective well-being. Okay, enough with the explanations. So 
How can you increase your level of subjective well-being and become universally more attractive? Well, these five simple behavioral changes work towards keeping your brain chemistry balanced and helping you achieve a healthier and happier state of mind. They also reduce the negative effects of stress by making you more resilient, keeping those negative emotions at bay. And when those things happen, you're happier, feel more in control and optimistic, and more satisfied with your life. All components of subjective well-being that make you more attractive as a result. So without further ado, here are the five steps. Number one, practice meditation. As I'm sure you're aware, mindfulness meditation has caught on in a big way over the past few years, and for good reason. If practiced correctly, mindfulness meditations can help improve health and mood and brain power and sleep habits and dietary habits and your sex life. Meditation is a precise technique for resting the mind and attaining a state of consciousness that is totally different from the normal waking state. In meditation, the mind is clear and relaxed and inwardly focused. And when you meditate, you are fully awake and alert, but your mind is not focused on the external world or on the events taking place around you. Meditation requires an inner state that is still and one-pointed so that the mind becomes silent. And when the mind is silent and no longer distracts you, meditation deepens. Learning to meditate is like any other skill. It's like exercising a muscle that you've never really worked out before. It takes consistent practice to get comfortable, but the benefits are life-changing. I promise when you practice daily, your life changes for the better. I've been practicing for at least two to three years and I love it. So. How do you start? Well, you can download apps that will teach you how to meditate or purchase various meditation devices that provide real-time feedback on how you're doing. Number two, take omega-3 supplements. You've probably seen omega-3 fatty acid supplements around your local health food store and on the internet. Basically, I'm talking about fish oil supplements. But what does fish oil have to do with happiness? Well, according to so many studies, omega-3 fatty acids help to lower inflammation in your body and it can also change the way your brain functions. Omega-3 fatty acids are a group of essential fatty acids that are vital for healthy brain function. But in particular, omega-3 fatty acids with the right concentrations of EPA and DHA help serotonin and dopamine circuits in our brains function more efficiently. And as you probably know, serotonin and dopamine are two neurotransmitters that regulate your mood and are responsible for happiness and pleasure. And when you don't take in enough omega-3 fatty acids, either in your diet or with supplements, the circuitry for those two neurotransmitters doesn't function as efficiently, so you are less likely to feel happiness or pleasure. Unfortunately, most of us have a diet very low in this essential nutrient, but the good news is that it's easy to find as a supplement. So look for a fish oil supplements that provide a daily dose of 1,000 milligrams of EPA and 500 milligrams of DHA for enhancing a positive mood. I use these every day, and I certainly notice a difference if I don't take them for a few days. They work, and there are tons of scientific studies to testify to its mood enhancing benefits. Number three, exercise. Maintaining a healthy body not only helps keep you looking good, but it also acts as a mood lifter and a source of increased energy. Several studies have found that exercise is about as effective, if not more effective, than most antidepressant medications. So when it comes to experiencing increased happiness, exercise makes a big difference. The best type of exercise that raises your level of happiness is an aerobic exercise that elevates your heart rate to about 140 to 160 beats per minute for 35 to 40 minutes at least three times each week. Types of aerobic exercise include walking, ideally at a brisk pace to achieve moderate level of physical activity, jogging and running, as well as swimming and bicycling. Again, you've got to get your heart rate up to at least 140 and keep that pace for 35 minutes three times a week. Number four, exposure to sunlight. Light exposure is something that many of us don't think about much, but it has a much more important role in keeping you happy than you might think. Due to our long ancestral history of spending the day outside, our brains have developed a rhythm that depends on the bright light of the sun. And when we spend all day in a room, even if it's brightly lit, we don't get enough light for the needs of our brain. Spending at least 30 minutes a day exposed to bright light preferably at the same time every day, is essential to your well-being. This strategy is simple and it's so easy to implement and it can have quite the impact on decreasing symptoms of depression. So for a cost-effective method, simply go outside and soak up the sun for 30 minutes or longer every day. And if you live in a cold climate or if getting outside is challenging for you, there are also light box options which emit at least 10,000 lux. This is your own personal sunshine to enjoy at home, but be sure to make the effort to get exposed to light every single day 
to reap the most benefits from this simple get happy strategy. Number five, get enough sleep. While sleep requirements vary from person to person, most healthy adults need between seven to nine hours of sleep per night to function at their best. So a regular sleep schedule is vital and making sure that you spend plenty of time sleeping is especially important. The National Sleep Foundation states that sleep is important for a variety of reasons. Getting adequate sleep reduces your levels of stress, helps to improve memory and concentration skills enhances your coordination and dramatically reduces the likelihood of depression. See, many people take time away from their sleep schedule to make up for their hectic lifestyles, but it is important to remember that if you do, you're sacrificing your happiness and mental stability as well. Remember, seven to nine hours of sleep per night is needed to maintain the right brain chemistry to function well. So get yourself into a healthy sleep pattern, including falling asleep and waking up approximately the same time each day. Avoid alcohol or caffeine in the evening Evening, dim the lights before bed and stay away from harshly lit screens like the TV or your computer screen. All of these can help you to get sleep more easily. Your body and your brain will thank you for it. Now, do these lifestyle changes work? Yeah, they work and they work big time. They work individually, but they work best when you combine all five. And wait, implementing these strategies not only make you happier, they make you more attractive and healthier both physically and emotionally. Being happier will make you more attractive, more successful and healthier. It's your opportunity to become your best self. So give it a try and let me know how it works. I do all of these things and more and I promise you they work. And if you're interested in learning more about meditation, meditation, check out this video here or click here to watch the video that YouTube thinks that you would like. And for more videos that will help you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love, click here to subscribe now. I'll see you in the next video.